It's another adventure with Lynn Wilson in the Locust Sport News Journal. We're going out on Little Lagoon to have a press conference with the Secretary of the Interior in Gulf Shores, Alabama, and the, and the Bon Secours National Wildlife Refuge. We'll end up by Gator Lake. Come along for the ride. Hang in there. We arrive on the beach by the Little Lagoon Pass where we're going to lay some boom with the Secretary of the Interior to show the Obama administration at work. If I learn. There you go. Oh, you gotta go over one more. What we'll do now is get this and stretch it up into that marshland, starting with that flange that we into just dropped off. The marshland over there? Yes. Are those boats in the way? You already pull them out of the way? Those boats are actually in the way, yes. Those boats are in the way. to be here walk with uh, uh, Jeremy Phillips uh, who is uh, the uh, the uh, National Wildlife Manager for uh, this wildlife refuge uh, Mayor Robert Kraft uh, Dennis Hatfield who is the president of the Little Lagoon Preservation Society and uh, Brian Parker who is here with uh, Congressman uh, Bonner's office who I met with uh, last night actually in, in Washington DC and then uh, uh, State Representative Stick Mc Steve McMillan as well here and what I've been doing today uh, the president's uh, assignment to me and the mission that we've undertaken in dealing with the, this uh, disaster in the Gulf Coast 
is to make sure that we are doing everything to protect the people of the Gulf, Gulf Coast and to protect uh, the very precious environment of this Gulf Coast. And we will not rest uh, until we get the job done. There are many moving components to all this, but at the end of the day, this is about a campaign to uh, uh, protect the Gulf Coast and to restore the Gulf Coast uh, so that uh, your children and your grandchildren and those who will come uh, behind you will be able to celebrate the same greatness of this planet. The president and, and, uh, is very focused on this. Uh, the president is receiving briefings on uh, what is happening here on the Gulf uh, multiple times a day. Uh, the National uh, Security Council, the Nos National Response Council, and all of uh, the government of the United States of America is very focused on what is happening here in the Gulf Coast. And so we are doing everything we, we can uh, to, to uh, the people of Alabama. Uh, how we are approaching uh, the issue is, first of all, we are doing everything we can to stop the leak. And there are many things that are going on to stop the leak. Secondly, we're trying to fight the oil on the surface uh, out in the ocean. Third, so it's what is happening here and uh, what I had the honor of assisting some workers in today, and that is trying to protect uh, the, the, the sensitive areas and the coastal areas uh, with the placement of booms and abs absorbance along the coastal areas where we project uh, that there may be landfall at some point in time Confident. of the oil. We are committed that uh, uh, the United States of America will not spend a uh, any taxpayer money in terms of uh, the removal or the cleanup or the compensation costs. Those are the responsibilities of British Petroleum under the law. Those are responsibilities uh, which uh, BP has assumed and which they have articulated they will be assuming. And so uh, we are into this for as long as it takes and uh, we will not rest uh, until uh, we have uh, the problem. It was in 2009 so it wasn't the Bush administration although maybe some of the paperwork was by the Bush administration. Can you address the issues related to how they were permitted to drill, drill, drill this big deep well without having an environmental impact statement and, and other things. Their own plan, we now know, has been reported widely. They didn't have a contingency plan for this. They thought that it would never happen. Do you, are you in, on the, you know, on the technical side of, are you, do you have the briefing on the information on how they were able to get a permit to do this? You have to look at the entire Gulf of Mexico and uh, what has happened there in terms of uh, its history of, of oil and gas. Uh, development. There have been uh, some 36,000 wells uh, that have been uh, drilled into the Gulf of Mexico. It's uh, very much a part of the economy of the Gulf. It's, pretty, it's very much a part of the national energy uh, security of the United States. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico, from an environmental uh, point of view as it relates to oil and gas, is probably the most studied area uh, within the uh, OCS of uh, the, the Gulf of Mexico. Shelf. Of, you, know, you look uh, at over 600 wells that are now producing in, in the deep water. Uh, there have never been uh, problems with those wells. Uh, and to the extent that uh, blowouts have occurred and they have occurred from the very beginning of uh, the time when oil and gas was first developed here in the Gulf, uh, you have never seen this the kind sale, of fail-safe systems that were in place were supposed to prevent this thing from happening uh, uh, ever. At the end of the day, uh, we will have uh, a national awakening uh, with re respect uh, to the importance of uh, the restoration of, uh, of, of, of the Gulf Coast uh, as, a, as an entire. So there has been a huge uh, problem that has occurred. Uh, there is no doubt uh, that there is a, well, we, we, we will, there are lots of theories out there uh, about what caused this, uh, but it should never have happened. Uh, BP is responsible for what happened here, and uh, BP is responsible for all of the damages that will flow from uh, this event which they caused as lessees of, uh, of oil and gas that belongs to the American citizens. And they will be held accountable to, uh, the, the, to that high standard, along with others who were involved, uh, because it was not only uh, BP, but you have uh, Transocean that was drilling uh, the, the well itself. You have uh, Halliburton that was involved in uh, putting the, the cements down into the well. Uh, you have Cameron that was involved in uh, putting together the, the uh, manufacturing the blowout uh, preventer. So all I'm saying is this, uh, at the end of the day, uh, we will pursue all those who uh, were involved and who uh, are responsible for uh, creating uh, this issue. And uh, we will hold.